girl's back. What's up? What's going on? Okay, so in today's video, we are actually um, going to be doing a lot of chit-chatting and plant planting up some propagating spider plants that I have been propagating lately. And we're going to transfer them from water into soil and not in your traditional way. So if you want to see how we're going to use this cup to do that, then just stay tuned and keep watching me. All right, y'all. I'll see you back. I'll be back here in a sec. And don't forget, bring your wine. Bye. Oh, hey, y'all. Y'all are back. I'm back. I'm way too close to the camera. That's all right. Um, okay, so just going to move some stuff around. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm drinking because you know your girl is drinking. So happy Sunday and happy um, daylight savings time because the time went back an hour early Sunday morning, this Sunday morning. And that was really worked in my advantage because I got to sleep in a little later and I was able, when I did get up and do some errands, I still feel like I have the entire day. Now I hear, and if y'all hear that noise in the background, that is Pepper. She is outside tearing shit up right now, okay? Pepper is doing, Pepper's doing great. She is no longer a puppy in my mind. In my mind, she's just a badass dog. And she's just in her teething stage, so she is chewing on any damn thing she can get her hand on. She's very destructive. She still is not potty trained. Um, but this is what we're doing about that. Okay, sheep, for all of you who care, Pepper will be starting kennel training today. <laughs> it has been, it has enough, is enough. I have um, already, um, this yesterday, Saturday, which is, I was planning on making a video, but um, what I ended up doing was cleaning my carpets myself all day. Just had all day cleaning my carpets because the smell of dog urine it, it was to me it was overpowering I don't care what anyone else says it's just it was just on my nerves and pepper has gone from being this cute damn puppy that's having accidents do has literally trained herself to pee in the house so after I have cleaned I cleaned all the floors I have a um except for the landing in between the bedrooms upstairs and I will do that later today but it's just after I don't put all that work into it and I am I want to do some decorating downstairs and really just change things up down there I ain't got time for pepper I ain't got time for pepper not to be potty trained I ain't got time for pepper pepper is also not these little cute little doggies that you think she should should be pepper weighs like damn almost 30 pounds y'all okay she weighs around 25 to 28 pounds. So, you know, Pepper's not a small dog. She's a medium dog. She's getting some girth on her. So, no, no, little bitch. You need to get trained. You need to get trained, and you need to potty train. So, I'm not I'm not even discussing it with my husband. It's over because he's the one that really is just against the whole kennel training. In my mind, I'm just compromising where we will not leave her in the kennel for more than four hours. Um, in fact, the way our work schedules are set up, um, she won't be in the kennel for more than two and a half hours and at night she'll be with with me um, With what well, she sleeps in the bedroom with me and during the day My husband doesn't go to work and doesn't have to be at work until four o'clock. He gets up around noon So I'm like when I go to work pepper will stay there I'll take her out. I'll feed her in the morning and then she goes back in there with him and then when he gets up He'll take them out, but he will not feed them. But he will put her in the kennel before he leaves to work. And then when I come back home from work around 5, 36 in the evening, then she will go potty, she will poop, she will pee, and then she will eat. And hopefully this will train her. If not, well, then Pepper will be spending the rest of her life in this damn kennel. And I don't care because I'm tired of it. So, boom. Hey. Oh, y'all, that must have been something on my heart because I had to get that out. Shit. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday and I'm drinking. Well, it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and my ass is drinking. Um, I'm still on the California roots. I mean, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, um, because it is $5 and it is a really good tasting wine. It is really good. It is really good. It is $5. I do not see the point 
and going out here and spending money on any other type of wine, especially any of the wine. Like, why are you going to spend $12 on wine when you can have the exact same thing for five? Why are you going to spend $20 on a bottle of wine when you can have the exact same thing for five? I, it's just no point. Now, when you start getting into the $30, $50, but I don't, I don't spend that on wine anyway. So, California Roots, y'all. California Roots, is, California Roots got me. And I can't find this any place but Target. That's the only place I've seen it. And let me tell you, for those who care about the alcohol contents, it's, it's 13.5 for a glass. So if you're trying to get toast quickly, and it's, it's, when you, if you are a real person, and if you're a real wine drinker, like a, what I would call a connoisseur, a serious connoisseur, then you will appreciate this $5 wine. And, and if you have had $5 wines and below in the past and you're like, they are tart, they are flavorful, they are, I would say you're absolutely right. I've experienced it too. But that don't mean this one ain't. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spend the most I spend on wine. It's probably the most I spend on wine is around $17 for a bottle of wine. And it's an Italian. And if I'm doing that, it's always an Italian wine and that's an inexpensive italian wine and i love italian wines love them prefer them over anything else but i don't see the point and if it's not an italian wine for me personally there's no point what's the point you just get your five dollar wine get your five dollar wine in your dollar tree glass that's right this is a dollar tree glass i went to dollar tree today and i picked me up four of these so this was four dollars Plus my $5, so you know, under $10 right here. And I don't care what anyone says. So it's like, why would you buy a dollar? Why would you go to Walmart, Target, um, or whatever else out there and spend $15, $20, $30 for a box of wine glasses? This is the same quality. It's the same quality. It, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. I needed some wine glasses. I needed uh, some wine glasses because uh, and I broke two of my blue ones that I have. And I was like, okay, I'm going to replace them. Dollar Tree didn't have them, but they did have this. And I, this is $4. So I don't even consider that being fr fuel. At this point, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't consider it being cheap. I can, I can, I do consider it being smart. This is the same quality of something that you will pick up at Walmart, Target, um, Kohl's. It just don't make sense to me why you're going to pick up something the same quality and pay more money for it. So yeah. And if you, and if you think I'm crazy, that's fine. And, but if you agree with me on that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you agree with me, like this video. Now we're going to talk about these plants now. Cause you know, I've been rattling on for seven minutes and haven't talked about a plant. So these are the plants that I, we're going to be propagating that we're going to, that I have propagated. Uh, we're going to plant these up. Now you see the root system here. So you can see it is, um, it could be a little longer, but I, I also think it will be fine to go from, and <laughs> this is in a shot glass, from my shot glass into one of these. And I recently just potted this one up, and it has rooted already. I think I potted this up a couple of weeks ago, and it has rooted already. And um, it's nice and perky and healthy. It's, just, it's established, and yeah. So that's what we're going to do with hey, the rest of them. I'm back. Sorry about that, but I had to break away and I take Pepper and Ginger upstairs with their dad, let him deal with them for five minutes. And that's really all it's going to be. It's five minutes. So. Mm. All right. So, um. I already have my potting mix ready to go. I actually did it ahead of time, and it is right here out of reach. So, y'all, what's been going on with y'all? You know, I really don't have nothing to complain about. In fact, I already did. That's with the pepper and the potting. And then the, the rest of it, 
know, as long as y'all know, as, as long as he know, I am serious when I say I'm not. So this container that I have is about a four inch pot. And with these, I like to use ones that are a little bit smaller. I don't know if you can tell. See how big this is. And this has been peppered. So, um, I have ran out of these and I do not believe in buying these because I buy enough plants this size. Um, and the reason why I'm out of them is because if you look at this one, see how, see, 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 because, um, and Peppa just got done chewing up another one. She just, she just chews the hell out of these things and I always catch her too late. And this one I'm still going to use, I think. Um, uh, but so I'm not, I didn't. I don't even know where you would purchase them for, but I'm, I've never purchased them and I'm not going to. So what I had already in the house are a bag of plastic drinking cups. So I'm just going to use those as my container. So, but starting off with this one. Now, um, I've already added the soil. And if you can hear what I can hear then um, you hear Pepper and Ginger going at it. Like, Ginger's not holding back with Pepper no more. She's like, but she's like, you ain't no puppy no more. <laughs> that shit is over with. You want to play? Let's play. And so, and, um, for the, and, and I get it. Most of the time, Ginger starts it. I think it's still training. But see, Ginger is an aggressive dog, and she doesn't get along with dogs, so we got a puppy. So that hopefully that if she raised this dog, she would get along with it. And I ain't gonna lie with y'all, I worry. But but Pepper is the only dog that Ginger so far has gotten along with, and I just pray it continues. And with that being said, we have just potted up the first one, and I didn't show you how to do it. Sorry, um, I'll show you in the next one for sure. Oh, I hear my husband. So boom, that was the first one. And I use, um, I don't buy, I, I, you can go purchase um, propagating kits and they, that's probably better. It works just, it's just as fine. But um, if you have, if you don't want to purchase them and you have, sh like I have shot glasses and around my house, but you can also just go, you go to the Goodwill, go to the thrift store. They'll be there for like 25 cents each. Um, you'll see a bunch of shot glasses over there and just pick you up a few shot glasses. Um, in this instance here, y'all see, these, are, oh, by the way, these are Hawaiian spider plants or I forget the name of it. Hopefully I can find it. Um, but I, they kind of are reverse, what I would call a reverse varig variegation where the white is on the outside and it's mainly green. Um, I have recently discovered that this is a rare plant. Um, it's not out there so much. So I've successfully propagated two now. And so and I'm hoping that these roots are ready to be propagated too. Back to what I was saying. You see this, this is an, an a bowl dish that I had literally picked this. This, this is a candy dish. I have the lid for it. Um, but I picked this up at a Goodwill for like a dollar for, for the whole thing. I think it was a dollar 99. And this is serving my purpose for it. So I don't, I don't see the point in going out and buying kids for it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it just doesn't work for me. And the reason why I want to pot these up now is because not only are they um, rooting, they are springing new life. Like, see, like they're giving me new leaves. So I'm like, okay, let me put this in some soil. So this leaf, those are roots are pretty long enough where they're going to root. And um, how long did I have it in the bowl? I would say that these have been in the bowl I want to say three weeks, but it could be as easily as a month. And um, these are what I love about spider plants is they are super easy to propagate. All I, all you do is just literally cut it off. Let me see. Like this one here, this stem here, which won't happen with this one, I don't believe. But this stem will grow longer and eventually it will have little baby spider plants come off of them. You just let those get a little big and then you pop them in some water. 
in your little watering station and then you plant them up. That's how easy they are to propagate. And I really was happy that my one, because I only have one Hawaiian spider plant and this is what I've decided is going to be my giveaway. So, uh, and I'm doing, th now this I'm doing because I'm cheap. This I is like, I'm going to be having a giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers. And I'm thinking that's going to come up. Hopefully before Christmas, I'll get 30 more subscribers because I believe that's all I need are 30 more subscribers to do this giveaway. And these are the giveaways, five winners. One will, each winner will get one of these. So I'm propagating them now. They're going to be healthy. This is what you're going to get. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm doing this because I'm cheap. Um... I'm not going to go out and buy five of these when I can just propagate them and give them to you guys. What I will do is those of you who, nobody will get them in plastic cups. <laughs> I will try not to. I, I shouldn't say they won't. I will try not to. So if you're curious about how I um, put the hole in, like with these holes that are in the bottom here, I used a, a, a much smaller drill bit and I just drilled them in, but I used the lighter. And I did, y'all. I did. I heated up the light. I heated up a drill bit. And then I just poop, poop, poke the hole in it. And I'm sure there's easier ways to do it. It worked for me. Safety first, though. If you're not comfortable with doing that, don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't have a lighter, don't go out and buy one to get one. There's other ways to poke holes in this. A uh, real simple way is to just take a knife and just you can just puncture it. You, you'll figure out how to make holes. Uh, I think this is a great inexpensive way for propagating and I just I just propagated I just gave a gift basket away for propagated plants and speaking and one of you might see is a, a croton um, if I am except for the croton the croton was propagated but it was propagated by division not necessarily by me clipping it and rooting it I divided the plant so it's still a form of propagating. Now, with that being said, I am currently right now trying to propagate a croton leaf and see if that works. And I guess on my next video, guys, um, I don't want to give you an update on, I have a bunch of propagating plants. I am propagating leaves. Um, I want to show you plants that have survived after the ginger attack because that's what I called them and how they're doing now. I want to, so I guess I will make a short video on that. I mean, that's something new and different. So I hope everyone had a good Halloween. I ain't gonna lie, I did and I forgot it was Halloween. I mean, and it's just because, and the only reason why I forgot, here's the cup, y'all. Here is the cup. And, um, how tall is this cup? Just to give you, that just happens. It'd be all right. These are 16 ounce drinking cups. I, um, I wouldn't even, I just had these in the home. That's why I'm using these. But if you could find eight ounce drinking cups, that would probably serve you better because they're not so tall. But if, um, if you have in the house, just make do with what you got. And, um, all I do is I fill the, it's got some, some soil and this is a pre-mixed soil that I it's actually miracle Grow soil that I had left over that I found a bag of it and um you know waste not want not so and I think there's also I may have added some ho coconut husk to it but not much and coconut husk is my primary source of, of how I propagate and I and I always leave a just in the description down below I always leave some um the products that I use are my favorite things. But on just on being completely honest, I had a bag of miracle Grow uh, plant mix laying around the house. And I've had it for probably over a year and I haven't used it. And I just think that's wasteful. So there we go. So we just potted this one up. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to water it all in. Now I'm getting the Now with this one, you can use it this high, but... You can also do something just as simple as this. If this is what you have in your home, get you, get your cup. And let's say you don't want them that high. Boom. Live right now. Boom. Right there 
going. Cut it down to the size you want. I may have cut this a little bit too small, but we're going to roll with it. Um, and I don't do it normally because I, I think that the roots are going to grow. That's all. I just think the roots are going to grow. And yeah, if you don't see what I'm doing on camera, you see that little glowing light below. I'm just heating up this drill bit. And like I said, this is what I do. You do not have to do it this way. It is probably best that you don't. Um, I do have a drill, and I could just simply drill the holes in it. But this just melts it right on up. See? It's heated. You just put it in there. And look. Boop. 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 I don't know if you can see it. But there. Well, can you see it? <laughs> There's your first hole. And that's all I do. And if, if it's hot enough, if it stays hot enough, you can just go on and just get about two or three out of them. And it don't do nothing to it. But like I said, this is what I do. This is very simple to me. I just have, I don't know, y'all. I guess this is what you would call hood, ghetto. I don't give a damn. It's fine. <laughs> this is just what you, this is just, to me, it just makes sense. It's just, boom. And now... Okay, real quick there, I just put five holes. So now we have some drainage and then scoop. I'm gonna scoop a little soil in that and then pick up another one of your presents. <laughs> and I'm just pruning this up a little bit. And so we now we have Plant number three, and again, I always just like to show you how much roots have actually grown. I haven't grown a super lot of roots on this, and I don't want to. I don't want it to get too established in the, the water because it's not as permanent home. So I just needed you to grow enough roots, and then when I water this in, the first drink, it'll be super wet. <laughs> super, super, super wet. That's super base. And, um, so I really don't like this because I think it's a little flimsy, but it'll do. It'll do. And what I'll probably do is just place it. Yeah. Because it does feel a little flimsy. So this one will probably get placed in there. But there you go. That's, that's a real quick and easy way to propagate. And um, I'm just chit chat with y'all for a little bit here and just go on and propagate the rest of them now that you know, cause I only have, uh, yeah, I only have two more to propagate. And then we're just gonna move on to, um, because I am still undecided about this, this group of plants here, very undecided. Out of the spider plants, I would say the curly sue, because this is a curly sue that I propagated a while ago. This is probably the slowest growing of them all. I mean, <laughs> this, I'm just like, okay. Like, she's still green and healthy, but I don't know. So probably with this one, I would bundle with several curly sues in there to be making it more full of plant because i think if you just leave one it's it's probably i don't really know if it's a slow grow it's just like like um this one was placed in water propagating several weeks before i did this one and this one is already rooted up and is starting to produce some new foliage at the bottom. Now this one could be growing and maybe I'm just not seeing it. It just has a lot of little growth going on down there at the bottom, but I'm not seeing it. But I would say that the Hawaiian plant, um, this one is definitely slower. That's all I'm saying. It's just a I'm sip this wine and enjoy my weekend off. So glad because ooh, it's about to get stupid busy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear them. You probably can't. But they are up here. Y'all, I'm just sitting in here looking at my reflection in this thing. I look like I'm up here rolling a joint or some shit. Let me put this on camera. See, look. 
Look y'all, this is how you heat up. This is how I heat up my drill bit. Okay. I do not partake of that. I live in South Carolina. Marijuana uses is still illegal here. But even if it was legal, I wouldn't partake in it. I don't, you know, know your lane. It's not something that interests me. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but this is what I'm talking about with Pepper. Pepper has just, she's rambunctious. She's, you know what? She's a toddler. I know that's silly to say because I get it. She's a dog. But right now, I feel like Pepper, and I'm speaking as a mother, someone who has raised a child. Pepper is a toddler. She's a two-year-old right now. And that two-year-old is driving my ass crazy. <laughs> Just gonna say it. Okay, popping up the last plant. Oh, another thing that you guys could do, if you're saying instead of cutting, um, these are um, actually pellets that um, are used for hydroponics with my orchids, but um, you don't have to use these. You can use rocks. And what it does is just bring up your your soil bed. So if you don't, if you don't want to cut off your cup, because I still say get the cup. If you have these plastic cups, if you have those solo cups at home in your house, um, get you one because this is just a temporary location. You know, you're just potting this up and it's going to grow quickly. And like for me, I'm using these as, these are, these are gifts. These are going to be gifts. So I do need them to root up now. Uh, I need them to root up in soil now. And then, hi Pepper. Don't be fooled by that kiss. I wouldn't be surprised right now if she just squatted and took a shit. Pepper, what you doing? What you looking for? Anyway, y'all, I'm going to show you a quick picture. Ooh, I'm at 23 minutes. So that's the video. <laughs> I will come back with another video on how to do maintenance for your plant. I'm going to do a quick cutaway and just show you what all of these plants look like. I can't believe it's 23 minutes. So I'm going to do a quick cutaway and I'm just going to show you what all of these plants look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please remember to leave, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more planting and drinking. Later, y'all. Peace.